Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll have a bit of fun with a classic project. A Slayer Exciter Tesla Tower, but with ferrite in the middle. The idea has been for it to be easy to make, with standard easy to find parts, ticks the performance boxes, and be just 1.5 volt powered. One main part of this design is that it has a low amount of windings on the main coil itself. Just 250 turns, rather than the regular 850 or more. So less wire, smaller size, low power use, but very similar performance to larger systems. There'll also be a bonus at the end for something else it can do. As you can see, it uses a ferrite rod in the middle. I got this one from an old AM radio, but in a minute, I'll tell you what to do if you don't have one. That rod is needed because of the diameter of the coil itself being just a solder tube. If it was wider, it wouldn't need one, but that would use more wire and end up as a larger system. I wanted to make something that anyone could build, from known parts of known sizes, bringing known performance. Now, what happens if you have no ferrite rod? What you might have is a pile of junk to salvage parts from. Here's a broken ATX power supply for a PC, though loads of mains power junk have got similar transformers in them. The ferrite can be reused by hitting it with a hammer. Those bits can then be put into a tube, and away we go. Here's the circuit, with a 5.1K resistor and 2N2222 transistor, plus an LED, that's all it is. The wire is 30AWG, wrapped tightly up the solder tube, and took me about an hour to make. It's a good idea to use white glue as you go to hold the windings, or at least at the top so it doesn't unravel again. You might use a bit of tape for the same purpose. The small coil at the bottom is of 22AWG, has plastic coated, and just three turns for that. The current used will be about 30 milliamps. Now, let's see what it does. First thing to do is to power up, and this is without the ferrite rod in there. You can see the light is on a little bit, and we do get some output from it without the ferrite. For example, here's a AV plug, that's two diodes facing different directions with an LED on the top. And you can see there, we are getting output there, and from the top of the tower, so it will do a little bit, but as you can see, there's a small tower at the side that's doing nothing. That should come alive when the rod goes in. There we go. Now also, I put my hand there, you can see that changes the brightness. But of course, I bring it nearer, it'll end up with a blazing light there. So what else can this do? Well, here's a neon, and these take about 80 volts to start up. And there we go. It will indeed light up. In fact, we get more than one going. There's three there. Oh, we got two. <laughs> will it light the third? I don't think so. Ah, oh, well, at least a couple of neons will start up. So that's those, anyway. Oh, the third one did flash. Don't know if you saw it. Anyway, next thing. Oh, and just to say, this has got little. <laughs> pieces in from the smashed up transformer from earlier. This here is a temperature and humidity sensor, so we're not just lighting lights all the time from wireless electricity, and that works great, showing 65 degrees Fahrenheit there, 46% humidity, wirelessly. Quite like that. This here is a Tiny SA Ultra spectrum analyzer, and it's showing that the frequency is about 1.8, 1.74 megahertz. And if I take the battery out, we'll see that spike will disappear. There we go. So yeah, 1.74 megahertz is the operating frequency. And for very badly wound coils, and I didn't spend enough time on this one, it's got aluminium wire on it, we can still get them to work at a decent enough range by using a variable capacitor from a radio. I just twisted that round till it went into sync with it and on came the light. So that's not a bad little distance between the two. Now one thing about such a small tower and low voltage is will it still do things with one wire? So I've connected a single wire to the top and then to this 2025 sign that I showed in the last video. That's now got an AV plug on it. So we'll see if that works. Pop the battery in. <laughs> there we go. Very nicely lit indeed. Working well. 
So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push things a bit. Because outside, over there, that table is 40 feet or over 10 meters away. Can I get a single 30 gauge wire over to there, put the 2025 sign on there, and it work with the tower still being here in the kitchen? Let's find out. Alright, hopefully you can see the wire coming up to the sign, and there they are, flashing away. So that's 40 feet over 10 meters, and uh, yeah, I'm flashing away nicely. In fact, I brought out the AV plug. Yep, there we go. That's nice and bright on the end too, with all those flashing away. Finally, we're back indoors with the sign. I've disconnected all the rest of the wiring. The sign's flashing away, but there's one big difference. This wire is not even connected. I just throw it down. <laughs> and the sign starts up. 